Hello again, Internet. Are we ready for episode four of the Blowfish boat build? The uh, possibly only MDF boat on the Internet? Possibly. Anyway, this episode, I promised you some science. So what we're going to do is do a little bit of testing on MDF to see how it deals with water. We're also going to test to see how much laminating fiberglass stiffens a sheet of MDF because this is actually quite important. MDF is actually quite a strong and stable product. It doesn't necessarily warp very much like um, plywood will if you left it in the sun. I mean, it's not perfectly stable, but it, it does a reasonable job. But it's certainly hard as we showed in the very first video. So what happens when we put a layer of fiberglass on either side of the MDF? How, how stiff does it become? We'll talk about that in this episode. Um, also, I'm still thinking about the little game that this has uh, inspired, shall we say. Um, not a lot of news on that yet, but for the board gamer friends of mine who are watching this, stay tuned. There will be a print and play game. Talked about more in the next episode. Definitely more in the one after that. Might even give a copy away. Anyway, let's get to the science. Well, here's the picture I showed in the first video of the bit of trim around the veranda that was made out of, well, the veranda wasn't made out of MDF, the bit of trim was made out of MDF. And you can see why water has sort of got in from the right-hand side and worked its way along the MDF molding and it sort of split like a banana peel. Um, like, obviously, the left-hand end hasn't reacted to water so much, but the right-hand end has. And you can see MDF and water do not do a thing. Anyway, I was interested to see just how long it took MDF to soak up water and fall apart. So I did this test. There's a tray here with about two centimeters of just tap water in it and two pieces of MDF. The one on the left is the MDF with fiberglass on it, the 250 gram fiberglass and epoxy resin. And the one on the right is the same, same size piece of MDF, um, just raw. Anyway, at this point I thought, ah, it's getting a bit dark on the left. That looks interesting. And then I realized it was just like, some a change in the light when I took the photo because it really wasn't changing very much and by the end of the second day I expected to see like you know a, a stripe coming up the MDF and after two days really not a lot had changed it, it's swollen a little bit but not much I took it out and had a look at it and if I stuck my fingernail under the end I could peel the fiberglass off the wet part of the MDF but it was still firmly stuck to the rest of it and the water had only sort of capillaried up just a little bit. So I was a bit surprised by this. I expected all this to happen much faster. Okay, so we're building this blowfishy boat out of three millimeter MDF. And as you can see, three millimeters isn't very much. Now it's gonna have, as I explained in video number one, call, um, a laminate of fiberglass on both sides of it with epoxy, 250 gram woven cloth on both sides with some epoxy and I expect that to add quite some structure to it and because I'm curious about how much it adds I've done this with this bit of scrap here unfortunately the uh, saw has torn away the layup on this side here but that's okay so what I plan to do is put the pair of them between uh, two fulcrums pointy up things like a bridge uh, and load them and just see what sort of deflection you get Right, here's how I'm going to do a load test on our pieces of MDF. I have, uh, like it's supported at boat's end, I've, I've measured it, and then I put one of these weights on. These are just some scraps in the that I had laying around in the workshop. They're just under a kilo, about 970 grams each. Um, and they're like a useful thing to stick on this piece of MDF and just see how much it deflects under this load. This is sort of like a simply supported beam test, although Strictly speaking, one end should be fixed and the other end should be on a bearing of some sort so it can move as the beam stretches. Anyway, here's our piece of MDF and I put the first kilo on and wait, like I really expected a little more than this. It was hardly any deflection at all. In fact, I was impressed by this so much, I thought I'll go back and do it again. So I went and found a half kilo piece of, M of metal scrap and added it so I had some half steps here and made this graph. And you can see the laminated MDF is the blue line at the bottom and the raw MDF without any fiberglass on it is the red line. 
Now, the red line kicks up uh, uh, between two and two and a half kilos, which would lead you to believe that it's failed or gone plastic and sort of engineering. If you're an engineering student, you can correct me here, but I believe when something goes plastic, it doesn't return to its original state after you've taken the load off it. And if this bit of MDF did, so it must be right at the point where its failure mode is starting to happen. But either way, the blue line at the bottom, that was still rocking along in a straight line. I was really, really surprised at just how strong MDF actually is when you apply a bit of epoxy and fiberglass to it. Um, so, yeah, I think one of the really good things about this was I wanted some curves in this boat. And if I used a thicker material, I wouldn't get those curves. The, the material would resist the, the bendiness of Andrew required for the boatiness, all very technical. Um, and I just, I couldn't get the curves or the little V in the bow that I wanted where I put the dart in. Um, whereas with three millimeters MDF, I could do that because it's flexible enough. And now that I've put some fiberglass on it, it's stiff and in that shape as well. So this was the point where I'm like, I think this might just work. Well, thank you for hanging with me through all that science. And also thank you to Derek, Weil and Jim who've like said encouraging things about this video series. Um, shout out to you guys. Next week we're going to talk a little bit about, or rather a lot, about applying fiberglass um, to stuff. MDF in this case. But you can put fiberglass on a lot of things. And it's a really good method of stiffening, protecting and strengthening things. A um, little spoiler though, uh, the boat obviously is a bit further advanced than where it is in the video series because it takes me a while to like, you know, put all this together um, and get it out to you guys. And in the, pro in the meantime, more stuff happens on the boat. So I can tell you, it's actually been near water. It's nowhere near finished, but it's sort of proved that it can float. So you can look forward to that, maybe in the next episode, Probably not. There's a bit of a teaser. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And look, share this with friends of yours that are boat type people who might need a project or a little bit of inspiration because I would love it if someone else had a go at this. Until the next video, which hopefully won't be too far away, check you later.